G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I wanted to run you through how to share your screen while you're inside of a Teams meeting or a Teams video call, so it's Microsoft Teams. Um, so basically, all you need to do is when you're inside of the call, so what we'll do is we'll make a quick call. I'll call Megan from my other computer. And what you'll see, this will start ringing. So if we answer that. And if I disable the mic, there we go. So I've disabled the mic so it's not echoing for all of us. Um, so basically now we're in a Teams video chat and what you should be able to see is uh, in here, I've got no microphone so that's all right. Um, so in here there's the share button. When we click share, you can then pick what you want to share. So if you want to share your screen, or if you want to share just a window in an application. So to share your screen, down here you'll have the desktop, you can include the system audio if you want, and you click share screen. So now, as you can see, there's a big red line around this screen, and that is the area that you're sharing. So that means anything inside of this red line, the other person can see, anything outside of the red line, which is nothing in this case, the other person cannot see. So we can stop the sharing of the screen by clicking this button. Another thing we can do is share a specific application. So if I wanted to just share this Microsoft Edge application, I can then click share and select Edge. Now the Microsoft Edge application will be shared with the other computer, which I can show you by bringing this over. So that's what they see on the other computer. What you can also do if you're on the remote computer is request control to take over the session. So what will happen is then you'll have two mice on there. So if I click request control, it will now pop up on the original person's computer saying allow the control. And if I allow the control, now the other person can actually do stuff in my screen. So as you can see, MA, which is the other user, is now on my screen. And if I type on my other computer, you can then see that they're doing that. So if I make this, whoop. So I can make that full screen so they can see full screen. So yeah, they now got control of my computer and they can do stuff. We can both do stuff at the same time. So as you can see, my mouse is now here. MO administrator is there, MA administrator things there. And you can see here, this little lady's picture, that's me. So you can identify the different people that are actually on the screen. So if you had multiple people in the screen with multiple mice, uh, you could see who the different people are that are controlling and where they're pointing and stuff. So, you know, if I'm going uh, over here, you can then see what I'm talking about. Also, while you're in this remote session, you can see uh, the little screen there of the other user, which you can move around just by clicking it and moving it around um, and stopping the screen share there. So the other way you can do a screen share, if we exit that uh, conversation there, is you can do it directly from the chat. So rather than starting a video conference or starting a web conference or whatever, or, um, or just an audio conference, you can just start with a screen sharing. So if we select start screen sharing and select screen one, it's now if I bring my other computer over, we're now gonna start getting a thing here. If I accept the screen share, it's now just directly in the share of the screen without having to start the video meeting first. You're just entering in with the screen as your video camera. Anyway, that's it. That is how to uh, share your screen. So pretty much the screen sharing button and select what you wanna share and that'll fix it. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.